Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, welcome. Welcome. You. Are, uh, how are you today? So, how are you? I'm fine. Great. Great. Excellent. So, welcome. It's actually a great pleasure to start this day. As part of this nine, uh, getting ready for our English class, 
And uh, we always like have this like opportunity to share a little bit about how was our day. Perhaps for some of us um, could have been like complicated, busy, relaxed. So we just like I would think about how our day was and but the most valuable is to have the motivation to start and also to continue in your class because you know this time is like you know what I have been working the whole day I have been doing a lot of things during my job and then I'm, I'm tired and then I come and join the class and this is uh, something uh, very very valuable that talks uh, in a good way about use his responsibility and also I know that every every sacrifice gets its own reward. As we say in English, um, todo, pues, todo sacrificio tiene su recompensa. Posiblemente no hoy, pero puede ser mañana. So we don't know about that. So we are sure that we will have a good time. And now that we're learning English, it's going to be very important about what we do. So that's something that we had to continue. So I don't know, somebody would like to say something about your day. Uh, you have the freedom to speak in English and say, uh, how was your day? Um, I will just give you the opportunity because we always select. I always say Jenny, I always say Miguel, uh, Dalida, but what about you guys? I mean, you say, teacher, I want to participate. My day was great because I have a good time. I worked, I did what I had to do in my job. So I feel very great and it rained, I don't know. You have the leadership to share your ideas. Remember that don't worry if you feel like a little, I don't know, um, doubted or you have some, I don't know, you're afraid, don't worry. We are here because we need you to speak English and we understand that you are in the process to learn. So don't worry if you have a doubt or you don't pronounce properly. So don't worry about it. We are here just because we need to learn. Okay, who wants to share your day? Okay, one volunteer. My day. It yes. was it was go wonder because I have a life and and share with my family and um I was um go to the job go to the work and and then I go to the park with my friends and and later i um i i was i was a eight pupusas uh, with him and and uh, i am here today i am here in this moment uh, learning english uh, i think uh, all days are very important in in our life all days uh, are very important because uh, um, are beautiful. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Yeah, definitely every day it's very important. We have a lot of things to do. We have different uh, challenges. We have different good and positive things that we can and uh, socialize. Thank you so much. Who else would like to share your day? Practice. Yes, someone. Students.
Only one student will express his day or he'll say, he say something about his day. I don't know. Maybe you have the, this opportunity. Nobody else. Okay, nobody wants to participate. Okay, so let's start with this part of the class. Well, um, we're going to uh, share a conversation that I want you to work in small pairs and also practice. So let's see here. And uh, we will talk about the use of wood that is going to be the topic, wood for uh, request things. We use wood because we need to know, uh, we need to request in a formal way something. So look at this. Uh, we have here the general objective to invite someone politely to do anything special, uh, special any special activity or thing. So that means that we uh, have the opportunity to share with people and also we have a, a conversation, we have an activity. So that is what we have to do. So for this, we have a conversation that I want you to practice uh, also with your partners. So how many students do we have right away? Let's see, 16. Okay, so I will share a picture about this conversation and I will share it here in the chat so you can um, see this conversation. Just give me one second, please. Give me one second. Okay, let me check. You will see in the chat this conversation, so you can practice with, with a partner right now. Okay. And also we will practice this conversation in pairs. I will share also this part too, so you can see this exercise. Let's see, let me check because I need to share it completely. Yes, I think it's okay. Yes, much better. Okay, let's practice this conversation. So you listen to me and then we will practice. This conversation is between Peter and a host. Um, says Peter, hello, I like a table for lunch, please. Certainly, right away. Thank you, I'm really hungry. Sit down, enjoy your meal. The wait person, hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Peter, yes, I would like to have some lunch. The waiter person, great. Would you like a starter? Yes, I like a salad. What else would you like? I like some spaghetti. Is it good? Yes, it's very good. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I like a glass of root beer, please. The wait, wait person, certainly. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I can't read this menu. How much is the spaghetti? Oh, it's $5.50. And the salad is $3.25. Thank you. So this conversation is located in a restaurant. So they are socializing some information. Oh, the man is asking about some food at the restaurant. So he cannot watch the menu and also he requested the waitress or the waiter some helps about checking the price. So for this, we're going to uh, practice this conversation again. Listen again 
and then you will practice with a partner. Hello, I liked a table for lunch, please. Certainly, certainly, right this way. Thank you. I'm really hungry. Sit down. Enjoy your meal. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some lunch. Great. Would you like a starter? Yes, I like a salad. What else would you like? I like some spaghetti. Is it good? Yes, it's very good. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I like a glass of fruit beer, please. Certainly. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I can't read this menu. How much is the spaghetti? It's $5.50. And the salad is $3.25. Thank you. Okay, so what we had to do is to practice this conversation. After you've finished or you stop working in this conversation, you will fill the gaps in this dialogue using the keywords and phrases you have learned about would you like in order to order in a restaurant? You can say, hello, how can I, can I help you? Yes. Um, and you can say, uh, yes, I would like to have some lunch. Um, luego menciona la palabra starter. Usted, usted se toma la conversación que ya vimos y dice, great, would you like a starter? Eh, que es prácticamente lo mismo, solo que usted le va a agregar algunas cositas, por ejemplo, waiter. And what would you like for a main course? I like a grilled cheese and sandwich. What would you like to drink? Yes, I would like a glass of Coke, please. And in conclusion, podemos decir que cuando nosotros utilizamos el would, el would es un auxiliar que significa ia, es decir, que todo verbo que vaya con would lo va a modificar. Por ejemplo, yo digo en inglés, me gustaría. ¿Cómo digo me gustaría? I would like. Entonces, vemos que ahí I would like significa me gustaría. En el chat, si yo digo, eh, yo comería, I would eat. Yo comería. Yo bebería, I would drink. Entonces, el would es un auxiliar que nos permite uh, hablar acerca de una, algo que nos gustaría hacer o algo que nosotros haríamos. Yo bebería, yo comería, me gustaría, yo estudiaría, I would study, como una probabilidad. Y para hacer preguntas es, would you like? Would you like? ¿Te gustaría? Would you like? Te gustaría. Entonces, con esa estructura, pues, vamos a practicar esta conversación y vamos a tratar de completar esta conversation. Yes. Uh, any question before we go on to the conversation? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos a la práctica? No? No, teach. Teacher, what is the meaning cert certainly? Eh, ciertamente. Okay. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando le dice el waiter person, great. Would you like a starter? La palabra starter es como cuando usted va a comer y eh, pues le dan como el plato principal, ¿verdad? algo inicial, por ejemplo. Puede ser algo, una ensaladita, por ejemplo, podría ser algún pancito. Es como para antes de iniciar el plato fuerte. Ok, let's practice in the breakout rooms. Nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. And also, we are going to uh, practice, ok? Let me see, we are 17 right WhatsApp, away. WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Yes, excuse me? Ya está en WhatsApp. Yeah, check that. Ah, ok. También está en la presentación que les he compartido.
Okay, let's go. Hello. Bueno, entonces, ya que nos agregó ahí, empezamos nuevamente. Permítame, solo quiero ver la descarga de la imagen porque no la tenía. Ok. Pero siempre es de dos personas la conversación, creo yo. Ruiz. Ah, okay. Dos. Ok. Porque, bueno, aquí aparece una de dice Hot. No, creo que son tres personas. ¿verdad? Tres, sí. Solamente que uh -huh. Peter, I Peter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, no sé cómo nos. Ahí está. I Peter en esta ocasión. Ok. Chico. Ok. Bueno. Eh, soy yo, White White Wipers. White perfect. White perfect. Uh -huh. okay. Um, okay. Hello, I build a table for lunch, please. <clears throat> Start down there or right this way. Thank you. I'm really hungry. Sit down. Enjoy your meal. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some lunch. Great. Would you like a start? A starter? Yes, I did like a salad. What else would you like? I did like some spaghetti. It's a good. Yes, it's very good. Would you like something to drink? Yes, I I like a glass of root beer, please. Certainly. Is there anything else I can do you for you? Yes. I can read the, this menu, menu, menu. How much is the, is, how much is the spaghetti? Is the spaghetti? It's 5.50 and the salad is 25. Thank you. Hoy. Ok. Can change, change the gallery. 
Si quieren, cambiamos roles. Hoy voy a ser yo host, que creo que es el que tiene menos y que sea la compañera Way, Way Pearson. Ok. <coughs> ok, Macy. Yo sería Peter. 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 Ok. Hello, I like, I'd like a table for lunch, please. Certainly rains this way. Thank you. I am really hungry. Sit down. Enjoy your meal. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would like to have some lunch. Good. Well, do you like? No. Will you like a start? Yes, I'd like a salad. What else is would you like? Or what else? No. What else no, would you like? Else, como se pronuncia? Pronunciation. What else? Else. Oh. else. Vamos a ver, la voy a pronunciar. En que, ¿cuál es? Me quedé aquí en... Grid, no, hell on my name. Grid, grid, was you like I started? Yes, I like a salad. What else? Else, okay. Else. Else. And what else would you like? I like some spaghetti. It is good? It's good. Yes. It's very good. Will you like something to drink? Yes, I'd like a glass of fruit beer, please. Certainly. Is there anything else I, I can do you for you? Yes, I can drink this menu. How much is the spaghetti? <clears throat> Eat five dollar fifty cent and the salon is three dollar twenty five cent. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Hola. Sí. And salad is three twenty five dollar. Thank you. Me creo que ahí es. Y después de eso teníamos que que resolverlo de a la par, okay. Hoy cambiamos. Ajá. No. ¿Va, ¿Quién va a ser quién? Cambiamos. Sí. Peter, soy yo. Va. Ella que sea hot, yo voy a ser white person. Entonces empieza Peter. ¿Quién va a ser Peter? Perdón. Dalila, usted va a ser Peter. Sí, ella. Uh, y... Hot. ¿Quién va a ser? Usted. Yo. Sí. Ah, vaya, vaya. <risa> Está bien. Comienza Peter. Hello. Hello. Tú vas a ser Peter. Empiece Peter. Bye. Hello. Is like a table for lunch, please? 
¿Quién sería Jorge? A mí me tocaría. Sir, sí, a ella. Sir Pine, bring this way. Thank you. I am really hungry. Is don't in home in uh -huh. in home in home your meal. Hello, my name is Kim. How can I help you? Yes, I would yes, like I go. To... Ah, sí, 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 sí. Perdón. <laughs> Peter, siga. <laughs> siga, Peter. Yes, uh, yes, I don't like to have some lunch. Great. Would you like Word. a starter? Uh -huh. Para Peter. Yes, I do like some. I... Relax. A Peter le toca. Yes, I like a salad. What else would you like? It's like some spaghetti. It's good. Yes, it is very good. Would you like something to drink? Yes, it's like a glass of root beer, please. Uh, Sir Timeline, is there anything else I can do for you? Yes, I can read this menu how much in the spaghetti. It is five fifteen, and the salad is three twenty five. Thank you. Y ahora vamos a responderlo de a la par. Buenas noches. Tenía problemas de conexión. Regreso, ahí está el teacher para que le preguntemos. Ah. Sí, eh, solamente no sé si nos puede ayudar. Eh, le agregaríamos prácticamente would like a estar, ¿verdad? O solamente la palabra would a cada oración, a cada, a cada frase que aparece ahí. Así no como si el ejemplo mal. de la conversación. <ríe> Si se fija, ahí va, I would, would, would I, I like. Entonces ahí el, el modelo es el, el ejemplo de la conversation. Pero es, es más que todo, oh. lo importante era como la práctica, porque tengo que explicar el tema. Entonces es como que hacer un refuerzo. Es un short backup. Yes. Sí, nada, Yo, porque nosotros... Bueno, ya lo, no ya sé, practicar. Este, este. Sí. Yes, we, we practice very much. Mm -hmm. So you practice the conversation, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, don't, don't worry, because I will explain the, the topic uh, directly. So we go on step by step, So and we will develop some exercises. So I know that some of you have studied this topic, but some of you don't. So we will reinforce this one in, in a real uh, part of the class. So we're going to go on to the main session because we need to like complete this part.
being recorded. Okay, let's start uh, with the rest part of the class. And we're gonna talk about the use of wood. As I said, wood is an auxiliary verb. A modal auxiliary verb, we use wood mainly to. As we say in Spanish, wood es un auxiliar. Es un auxiliar de un verbo. También se le llama como modal, los verbos modales. Auxiliary verb, we use para diferentes cosas. Eh, ¿Para qué usamos wood? Lo usamos para hablar acerca del pasado. Talk about the past. Es como el pasado de Will. El pasado de Will es wood. We talk about the future in the past, para hablar acerca del futuro en el pasado. Express the conditional mood. We also use wood for other functions, such as expressing desire, polite request. Entonces, de estos temas, vamos a enfocarnos específicamente para hablar acerca de exp expressing desire, expresar deseo. Por eso dice abajo, expressing desire and polite request. Significa solicitar algo eh, cortésmente. Entonces, con esas dos direcciones, vamos a hablar un poquito acerca del wood. So, and congratulations because you have been practicing the conversation. Tenemos wood, subject plus wood plus main verb. Entonces, el orden sería el sujeto, the subject plus wood, más el auxiliar wood, más el verbo principal. Y ahí está la conjugación. The main verb is always the ones. She would like tea. A ella le gustaría el té. Y vemos que hay una apóstrofe y una D. ¿Por qué está esa apóstrofe y esa D? Porque para que yo pueda hacer una contracción, vemos ahí, la, la vamos a poner acá en el chat. I like es igual a I, I would like. Solo que esté en forma contractada. Cuando yo quiero contractar el would, voy a poner una apóstrofe y voy a poner una D. Y es lo mismo. Entonces decimos, she would like tea o she'd like tea. A ella le gustaría el té. She wouldn't like whiskey. She would not like whiskey. A ella no le gustaría el whisky. Y para pregunta, primero usamos el would, va al inicio. Luego va el sujeto y luego el verbo. Would she like coffee? ¿Le gustaría a ella el café? Yes. She would. Oh, no, she wouldn't. Entonces, este would nos dice, como en la regla anterior, lo usábamos para expressing desire, expresar deseo o polite request. She would like to play soccer. A ella le gustaría jugar fútbol. I would like to drink coffee. Me gustaría tomar café. Would you like to drink coffee? ¿Te gustaría tomar café? Would you like to go to Brazil? ¿Te gustaría ir a Brasil? Would you like to dance? ¿Te gustaría bailar? Etc. Vamos a ver acá. Esta es como información general. Would is never conjugated and it is always would or el apóstrofe y la de. ¿Qué se le llama? Short form. The main verb is always the verb infinity. Es decir, que el verbo que va a acompañar a would siempre tiene que ser un, ver un verbo en presente simple. Dance, play, use, sleep, run. Go, try, feel, say, think, write, drive, etc. A estos verbos se le llaman infinitive, porque son verbos en infinitivo, es decir, en presente. The main verb is always the very infinitive. We cannot say I would like, co I, would li I would to like. No. Después del would tiene que ir el verbo. No tiene que ir ni tú ni nada más. I would dance. I would play. Would sleep. Would run. Entonces, be careful. Would and had to have uh, the same short form. D. He finished. Él había terminado. He liked coffee. Él le gustaría el café. Entonces, eh, estos dos tienen similitudes en la apóstrofe y la D, pero sabemos que para nosotros el would eh, y lo quiero hacer en forma contractada, solo le agrego una apóstrofe y una D. Next. Veamos algún ejemplo. Look at some examples. Let's practice. Um, hi, Tom. I'm having a party. Um, ¿Cómo podríamos decirle? How can I say this person? ¿Cómo podría decirle a esta persona? ¿Te gustaría ir? ¿Cómo digo yo en inglés? ¿Te gustaría ir? Would you like? 
Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Okay. Would you like to go? Mm -hmm. I, I like both. Veamos el chat. Veamos el chat. Look at the chat. Would you like to go? Te gustaría ir? Would you like to dance? Te gustaría bailar? Y entonces le dice Tom, what time? Ned, it's about seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, en este caso, pues, ¿qué podríamos poner? Veamos, algún ejemplo. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Uh -huh. No puedo. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. ¿Y cómo podría decir yo? I will go o uh, my, my grandmother's to an art exhibit. Aquí nosotros podemos poner eh, yo iré. ¿Cómo sería en inglés? Yo iré. I will, I will go. I will go. I will go. I will go with my grandmother. Yes, yeah. with my grandmother. Yes, I will go with my grandmother to an art exhibit. Or art exhibit. Uh, uh, lo siento, no puedo. Yo iré um, con mi abuela a una exhibición de arte. Well, entonces la pregunta dice, go fishing on Saturday. ¿Cómo diría yo en inglés? ¿Te gustaría ir? Would you like to go? You would like to go? Would you, would you like to go? Would you like to go? Fishing on Saturday. Y entonces aquí en el chat lo escribo. Would you like to go fishing on Saturday? Saturday. Um, ¿Cómo diría yo? Me gustaría. Yes, I, I would like. like. Well, I would like. I would like. Saturday, yes. I would like. Sí, me gustaría. Yes, I would like. We take, um, yeah, I would like. Fishing sounds great. Would I make some sandwiches? Ahí, dice, ahí podríamos decir, um, haría, yo haría algunos sandwiches. Yo haría en inglés. Would you, would you, would you make, would you make some sandwiches? Uh, harías unos sandwiches? Would you make some sandwiches? Sure, that's okay. Está bien, that is okay. We take my father's car and I pick you up at 10. Mm. Isn't it quiet late? No es un poco algo tarde. How about 8.30? Sure, that's okay. I see you there. Uh, see you Saturday. We could say no problem. And also we complete that. So you can see that we are using a wood to request or invite to do something. Entonces, nosotros lo usamos con el objetivo. So, you can check, check the examples here, okay? Veamos otros ejemplos. Let's see more examples about this conversation. Because this person is fishing, and also, de acuerdo al dibujito, pues como que no tiene mucha suerte, que hasta se le esconden los peces. Look at this. Okay. We have some phrases or expressions here that we will practice. For example, match one to seven with A to G to make key phrases for invitation. I'm having a party. What do you think would be the answer? I'm having a party. What do you think? Um, my birthday. Okay, amazing. Uh, so to celebrate my birthday, okay? So check that. I will give you some minutes to try to match the statement and then we will answer them together.
I am planning. Okay, let's share the next one. Uh, another example, um, for example, another one you have? I'm planning a party. Planning a party. I'm planning a party. Okay, I'm planning a party. Okay, uh, would you like? Would you like? To join us. Would you like to join us? Let's see. Would you like to join us? Um, oh, can you please bring some cities? Okay, for the party. Let's see what happened. Put it. Put it. In your diary. Okay, put it in your, in your diary. I hope. I hope. You can come, let me know. Okay, I hope you can come, let me know. Let me know. So that would be, and uh, let's see this color. And hope you. Can I make it? I hope you can make it. Okay, so our phrases related to invitations. You know, I'm having a party to celebrate my birthday. I'm planning a party. Would you like to join us? Um, ¿Te gustaría unirte a nosotros? Can you please bring some CDs? ¿Puedes llevarnos CDs? Put it in your diary. Agregalo en tu diario. I hope you can come. Let me know. So you can check that and hope you can make it. Ojalá lo logres. So you can see some expressions uh, using uh, invitations. Yes? Questions? Have you... Have you used some of these phrases uh, for uh, a celebration? Yes. Have you used these phrases? No? Okay, so let's continue. Uh, let's move to the next one. Say yes or not. Pasamos al siguiente. Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. Let's change. Okay, look at this one. Uh, this is actually very simple. And would you like to come to my graduation? Read the sentences and write the numbers. So we have. Would you like to take a picture? Would you like to come to my concert? Would you like to come to my birthday party? Would you like to go to see a movie? Would you like to come to my graduations? And would you like to play the piano? So for example, in this one, uh, this one that I'm you know, highlighting, can you tell me what's, what question represents? Six. Six. Six, Six. okay, we're gonna check here. Would you like to play the piano? So say yes. 
And what about this one? What do you see in this picture? What do you recon, um, recon three, 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 would you like? My birthday party, right? So would you like to come to my birthday party? A celebration. Okay, what about the this one that I'm highlighting here? Number four. Four. Like four. To, four. Go four. Uh, to see a movie, right? Yes, like a princess or something like that. And what about the next one? You can see here. Two. 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 Like concert. To come to Two. my concert. To my concert. Mm -hmm. Yes, would you like to come to my concert? And what about the next one? To my graduation. Yeah, to my graduation. And also the last one we have here. Wow. Um, would you like to take a picture? Would you like to take a picture? Okay. Would you like to take a picture? Would you like to take a picture? Yes, I would like to take a picture. So we have some uh, polite request. Um, so that's why and it's very important to uh, work in some statements. We have some minutes to practice with our own statements. So for that reason, what I want you to do is that you uh, write in the chat because we're gonna use it as a notepad we will write some questions using a would you like and a possible answer. For example, I say, would you like, and let's see, would you like to visit my grandmother? So you, can, you can check that. Yes, I would. Si yo quiero hacerlo de una manera corta, yo puedo decir, yes, I would. Yes, I would. Y si yo quiero decir que no, pues yo digo no, I wouldn't. Y lo hacemos en forma contractada. Yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Would you like to go to the party? Yes, I would. You can say yes, I would. Oh, no, uh, I wouldn't. in a question form. Okay, sorry. No, I wouldn't. So we have different ways to uh, work in some statements. And most of the time we just request um, some things. For example, when you go to a store and you would like to get something, you say, uh, people say, hey, deme esto, o yo quiero esto, pero tiene que ser muy formal. El would es muy formal porque usted no va a decir quiero esto, sino que me gustaría, eh, I would like to see, I would like to buy, I would like to get, I would like to uh, see this product. Entonces el would es muy formal para solicitar algo, request something. And also it's very important that we can uh, practice. Quiero que en este momento me escriba algunas oraciones utilizando el would, como los ejemplos que hemos visto, utilizando otros verbos. Así que vamos a utilizar el chat to see the answers that you are sharing with us. Let's think about it and let's read this question. Okay, I would like to, to know another country. This is a, a affirmative statement. Es una 
Oración afirmativa de una probabilidad, right? Excellent. I would like to, to know another country. Yes, I, I would like to swim tomorrow. Okay, yes. Would she like to travel to Japan? Yes. Uh, would, ahí sería, would you like, uh, I would like to play tennis on Monday. Ahí tennis con dos Ns, it would. Would you like to eat pizza? Yeah, that's right. So we, we know about that. Would you like to drink coffee? And y el signo de interrogación, the interrogative signs. I would like to have a pet. Yes, that is good. It's, it's a desire. Es un deseo. It, it's a desire. Nice, Adriana. Also Jennifer too here. What else we can share here with us about? Um, I would like to, I would like to travel to Mexico. Yes, that's that's great. So you can talk about traveling to other countries. Eh, utilicen forma contractada. Quiero ver algunas oraciones que vayan en forma contractada. Vamos a ver. Would you like to see a good film with me? Yeah, that's awesome. It's a very formal way to request. Would you like to go to my to my office? Eh, quiero que escriban oraciones que lleven en la forma contractada, el apóstrofe y la de. Vamos a ver quiénes lo están poniendo ya. Would you like to go my... Oh, okay, yeah, we know that. Let's see. I wouldn't like to eat pizza right now. Okay. Muy bien. Eh, todavía no han utilizado la apóstrofe y la de. Vamos a ver quién la puede utilizar en su forma de oración afirmativa. Yes, thank you, Jenny Saray Cruz. I like, uh, no hace falta el to. I like to study. So she can uh, add it. So you can add it. Let's see what else we can um, share here with us. I like to study. Yes, thank you. Let me see. I yes, Maisie, excellent. I like to bring some bracelets. Yes, so we use the word bracelet. So we have some statements here. And using the contractions, I like to bring some bracelets. So we are using the, the, the contracted form. It's actually valuable. I like to eat chicken with you. Yes, I like. Using the contraction for requesting, it's, it's definitely is a good way to share. I like to exercise. Uh, E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E. -E. So spelling, the spelling word. I like to eat fish. Cool. Yes, that's correct. Y el punto, period. It's always important, uh, also as part of the practice. What else we have? Let's check. Let's check and let me check, let me check. Uh, I wouldn't drink beer. I like to know Canada. Yes, lemonade. Yes, the statements are very, very clear. Actually, it is um, part of the statements. I, I really like it. I really like it. It's actually very formal this way. Okay. I like to go to the movies. I like to know Canada. Thanks, Esmeralda. Jenny, too. So that's me that it's actually clear to share these statements. Let's see. I like sa sa sale or salad. I think you try to write salad. Yes, I like to, uh, to, to see, actually, I like salad. 
Okay, that's that's actually great. What else we can see here? Let's see. What else do we have? I like to. Eh, después de like, y si va a usar un verbo, siempre tiene que ir el to. I like to spend. Más si es un verbo, con otro verbo, entonces, I like to spend time with my father. So, you can see here the structures about the use of um, would like for a polite request. So, prácticamente esa es parte de la estructura. Creo que para nosotros es como un pequeño repaso de cómo utilizarla. También el would puede ser utilizado con otros verbos. I like to go swimming. Yeah, I would like to go to the, to the theater, movie theater. Entonces, eh, también recuerden que el would lo podemos utilizar con otros verbos. Por ejemplo, I would dance, bailaría. I would play, jugaría. I would sleep, dormiría. I would watch TV, vería televisión. I would run, correría. I would... Um, play video games jugaría videojuegos I would go to work iría a trabajar, etc. Entonces eh, también el would lo ocupamos eh, para todo tipo de verbo que nos refiera como una probabilidad o algo que podría pasar um, Any question or doubt before, before that we finish the class alguna pregunta o duda antes de culminar Yes, questions I would go to work in England. Okay. Yes, because we're talking about countries. It's okay. Any question before we finish? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay. No. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for your time. We hope to see you the next class. And... Uh, see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night. And don't forget to work in the platforms. No se les olvide completar los ejercicios de la de esta parte 4 eh, en la plataforma. Así que thank you guys and have a beautiful day. Beautiful night, okay. by the way. And tomorrow, Hi, a beautiful day. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You too. Thank, thank you so night, much. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh. See you tomorrow too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have God a good bless time. you, teacher. God bless Bye. you too. Amen. Bye-bye. Amen. Bye.